Hey guys, I'm Ava, and today's video is basically an excuse to show all of you some of my favorite doll accessories and items that I have. Obviously not all of them in one video because otherwise we'd be here for a much longer time, but I just love these items and don't think they get enough appreciation on this channel because I don't have enough opportunities to show them or use them. I don't really have a particular order of how I'm doing things, but let's just get started. I'm gonna kind of pick backdrops that go with the items that I'm showing you, but we're actually not gonna pay attention to anything actually going on in the backdrops or any of the accessories in here. We're gonna be focusing on other items. But I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have backgrounds that kind of go with what I'm showing you, so it's not just like a white plain background. Starting off strong, I have this pair of shoes. These fit the Ken dolls and the detail on these are crazy. Just look at all the little details and stitching. Not to mention the bottom of the shoe. I'm gonna kind of tell you where I got things as we go, unless it's an item like this one that I got from Etsy store that's no longer open, then I just won't really say anything. But if it is an item that I can kind of help you out with and tell you where I got, I will. I have seen these kind of shoes all over though, like you can definitely find them on Etsy, on AliExpress, all sorts of different places. And they're actually supposed to be like keychains, I think, but obviously I'm using them as doll shoes and they work pretty well. Here's this pair of Balenciaga shoes. They're definitely pretty big on Barbie dolls, but I think it's still worth the look because the details on these are just so good. I have these little Adidas socks that were from the doll tailor. And if I actually put them on the doll, it actually helps shoes like these that are kind of big to fit better and like that looks so cute. As you've probably noticed, we're kind of sticking with the shoe theme for a little bit here, but we're almost done and I promise there's gonna be all sorts of different kind of accessories, not just shoes. But I absolutely love these white knee-high boots from the Etsy shop Dollsy Doll, especially how they have an actual working zipper in the back. How cool is that? And they just look incredible on the doll and the detail on these, the stitching is incredible. Here's another pair of boots, but I actually made these myself. They're like these denim knee high boots and they're definitely not as great quality as the last ones, but I still think they're really cute. And they look especially really good with like jean shorts of the same denim material. And yeah, I just think they're really fun. Here's this Adidas baseball cap, and I did actually kind of make this myself. It was originally a pink Barbie doll baseball cap, but um, I gave it a bit of a makeover here and made it into this white Adidas one. I actually did this in a really old Barbie doll makeover video, and I haven't really had any opportunities to show it that much, so it just needed a little bit of appreciation because look how well I drew on that Adidas logo. I also like cut out a spot in the back because that wasn't there before, and I think it kind of makes it a little bit better. I have these little gold glasses. These are so cute. I guess the only downside about them though is that they are a little bit small for the doll's head. I mean, look at that. It's a little awkward. So I guess they're more of like accessory things that you don't actually put on the doll and just kind of have on like an end table or something because they do fit a little small. I also have them in rose gold and black. This is really random, but I have these little mini mouse ears and I think I've only ever showed them once on my channel a long time ago, but I did make them for like an Instagram event. Either way, I just thought they're really cute and don't get to be seen enough on this channel. <laughs> Here's this little jewelry box. I was given this a long time ago and it had some little like charms in it or something. It definitely wasn't meant to be a doll size jewelry box, but I think it works perfectly as one. And just the detail is so cute and I especially love the lid with the butterfly. Here's this guitar, which is really cute. It used to be a plastic Barbie guitar and I gave it a complete makeover in this video here. The back is still a little rough, but we just won't talk about that. And I'm honestly really proud of the paint job I did on this and it's been holding up really well too. I had to put this little Amazon package in here. And in fact, I have a whole bunch of them. And these are actually made by an Etsy shop called Catchy Charisma Minis. And they're just so adorable. And they also have these Amazon packages as well. Okay, these really don't get enough appreciation or enough use, but I have this entire deck of mini cards. In fact, there's a lot more than this because I actually have 54 of them, but then it's like super thick and not realistic for how thick it should be for a doll deck of cards. But just look at the little cards, like how adorable. These are so cute and I wish I had a reason to use these somewhere. And I got these a long time ago from one of those miniature packs that they had at Michael's. I don't know if you'd still be able to find them there, but that is where I got these from. 
And here's the little ace of spades. If you guys don't know, I hid this in a couple of my Emily and Friends episodes a while back and had this giveaway where you had to find the ace of spades. It was pretty fun. So if you don't know about that, go back and try to find this little ace of spades in some of the Emily and Friends episodes. Okay, this is one of my favorite things ever. Like my one... <laughs> I love this vacuum so much. This was from Etsy shop that no longer is open anymore, but this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like, look how fun that is. <laughs> this thing even spins here. And like, I just want a reason to use it. And everything like it detaches, for example, here that detaches. What else detaches? I don't remember. This thing here can like pull out. Oh my gosh. It's a struggle, it's a struggle, but it can, I promise. <laughs> I just broke it. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna stop touching it because <laughs> I don't wanna break anything else. But <laughs> I do love this thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna just move on. I have these little painted rocks here and this is basically just me flexing my miniature painting skills <laughs> because look at how well I painted that, guys. Like, come on. I used a literal like sewing needle to get some of those little dots. I think that's pretty impressive. Oops. Why do I always drop things? Like every single video, I swear, I always drop something. This one's really pretty too though. Not quite maybe as, as impressive, but I do like the look of this one more. Yes, I'm displaying these on a toothpick, but this is a little like ring, key ring, ring of keys. Why am I forgetting what this is called? But anyways, it's just really cute. There's like these three little keys on this little key ring or loop ring thing. Who knows? Anyways, I made these like years ago. I made a whole bunch of them because they were like these little keys from Michaels. And yeah, just kind of like a fun little detail and accessory for the dolls to have. This is another thing that I absolutely love. But again, I've never actually had an opportunity to use it for whatever reason. But it's this really, really cool bike. And all the little details are just crazy. Like the spinning wheels, the, the actual moving. Look at this. The pedals move and it moves. <laughs> the uh the chain the chain came off we're gonna have to fix that that happens actually a lot there we go anyways look at this the the, the, <laughs> the chain doesn't like to stay on okay but it's cool and the chain is like made out of plastic why the heck okay so maybe we're not gonna spin the pedals but either way <laughs> it's a really cool bike all the little details are crazy like look at the detail here and look at this little kickstand how fun is that oh my gosh i'm gonna break it these next two items don't match the room whatsoever but i do want to show them off so we have this sword here which i think looks really cool i did make a tutorial on how to make this check it out if you're interested because i do feel like it deserves a bit more appreciation guys I thought this was so cool, okay? <laughs> Maybe it's not, but I think it is. Because I'm like personally a really big fantasy person. So of course I love swords and stuff like that. And I just think it's really cool. Again, not matching the room whatsoever, but we have this surfboard. This is Chase's surfboard from Chase's room. And I absolutely love it. If you guys don't already know, or you haven't seen the video where I made Chase's room, my brother actually made this surfboard for me or like the wood part of it. And then I just painted on the design. So that's really cool. And he did a really good job with it. Unfortunately, the paint is starting to kind of crack a little bit because it was just acrylic paint. And I should probably put some sort of like Mod Podge over top to keep it sealed better. But um, either way, I think it's really cool. And I think I did a good job with the painting. These little magazines are so adorable. I got them from an Etsy shop called The Doll Art Boutique. They don't sell these particular ones anymore, but they do sell some other magazines and a bunch of cute stuff in general. This one might be my favorite because it has the pink perfume bottle on it, but all the pages also have stuff going on as well. And they're just really cool. Here's my mini YouTube play button. You would have seen this recently in my Emily's new room video because I did put that in there. And this is from Elsie DIY. She sent me this a long time ago when I reached 100,000 subscribers and I still love it so, so much. It's so cute. Here is this tiny little lipstick. I used to have a lid for it, but I lost it a long time ago. Either way, it's still really cute and I made this from a tutorial like literally probably like five years ago at least. So I don't remember even what tutorial, but it's really cute and um, just a fun little accessory. 
that one in my carpet. I'm never gonna find that. This has to be at the top or close to the top for one of my favorite accessories ever, honestly. You would have seen this recently in my last doll makeover video, and it's just a little Louis Vuitton backpack from that same Etsy shop that is now closed, unfortunately. But I've seen this kind of same thing in lots of different places, so I just try searching on Etsy and you might find it, or just searching it up in general because it's so cute. Um, and the details are amazing and there is a working zipper, but I don't want to risk breaking it I've broken enough things already today. <laughs> these are little tiny air pods. I actually do have a tutorial for how to make these on my channel. Oh My gosh, I'm gonna go find those. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Anyways, the details on these are pretty crazy and I did actually used to sell these on my Etsy shop They're just so cute and look like the real thing now, I don't really know if this dog is considered an accessory or like item because I'm not saying that dogs in real life are considered accessories or items, but of course this is not a real dog. So I just want to include in this video, this was sent to me from Dollsy Doll. I love this dog, it's so cute. I don't really know my dogs, but I, I think it's a poodle. That's what I'm assuming. I need to find more excuses to use this dog and like maybe I should give it a name. What do you guys think I should name it? Tell me, let me know in the comments below. Let's give this dog a name. Okay, look at these little water bottles. These are so cute. I believe I got these off AliExpress. Along with this little bubble tea, which is so cute. This is the one that I had in Emily's new room. And just the little tapioca's in there. Here I have some little ketchup and mustards. These are from an Etsy shop. I have these in the diner. And just look at this, ready? Yeah, you're not ready for this. It unscrews. The lids unscrew. How cool is that. I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually unscrew them or need to for a video, but just that extra little detail is so fun and I just love that. And now for some mini food that I made myself. Guys, look at this taco. I am not joking you, I am very proud of this. I made this like, I don't know, several years ago and I still think it is a top quality taco and looks like something you could buy off Etsy if I'm being honest or maybe I'm just like, hyping it up too much, but um, I really like it. I think I did a really good job with it. And this was made just out of polymer clay and some paint for details. There's also this hamburger. I wouldn't say it's as good as the taco, but I still think it's pretty cute. Definitely could have probably added on some more detail, but considering, yeah, I made this like, I wanna say like at least four years ago, it's pretty good. I have this donut. There's actually a few donuts I've made, but I really like this one because it has like a little bite taken out of it. Oh my gosh, I drop everything. And these little macaroons might be like personally one of my favorites. Just look how cute those are. Oh my goodness. I keep these in the bakery so you don't really see them that much, but I think they're so cute. Are you kidding me? Then there's this cake and from like a distance, like a very far distance, it actually looks really cute. And there's this little slice here and like the detail on that, I think that looks so realistic. Like, come on, that's pretty cute. I think the only thing that's a little rough is like the outside clay job. There's like some like dust in there and it's definitely not perfect. But then again, like cakes aren't perfect. So maybe it's still fine and again i made this a really long time ago so considering i think it's pretty cute let me know if you guys would actually like to see a video of me making doll food out of clay because it has been a long time and i feel like it'd be kind of fun and then here we have these pancakes these are made entirely hot glue and like paint i have a tutorial for these from like the og delightful dolls days i'll link it but like don't watch it because it's kind of bad like it was made so long ago um yeah but i mean if you do want to know how to make these i guess check it out but this was like one of my first videos i made where i showed how to make these pancakes and i'm still pretty proud of them honestly like they look pretty real so i still think they're really cute and since we're in the kitchen already i guess we'll just stay here for the outro but i hope you guys did enjoy this video i know it wasn't anything crazy it was just kind of like showing off some of my favorite doll miniatures but hopefully you still found it somewhat interesting i also want to say i've been so busy with school lately like busier than ever <laughs> so it's been really difficult for me to get videos out so you're just gonna have to kind of with me here i'm gonna try my best to keep posting as much as i can and as good of videos as i can but there might be the odd one like this that's just a little bit more chill and not such a process for me to make because i'm really trying to manage my time with everything else i also have going on so hopefully you guys understand i am also curious to know which of all of these items are your favorite there's quite a few so definitely let me know i am very curious and now before we end today's video the shout outs for today go to bolt 
Rebecca and Hannah, and Sunrise After Sunset. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you once again so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!